guys welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing great it's 12 o'clock right now and finally i took a shower got ready <laughs> because from last few days i've been working non-stop decluttering organizing everything that's why my last two videos were cleaning and organizing thing because it's something about this last week of the year that I just want to purge, I want to declutter, I want to get rid of the things that I'm not using anymore because I just want to start the new year fresh. You know, I was like, let me just take care of all this. So yesterday I cleaned garage. This morning I cleaned the basement and the storage area. So all the extra stuff, I was like, I'm done with it. I don't want this anymore, you know? So that's all I've been doing because I'm sure this 2020 has been roller coaster ride for all of us. You know, kisi ko jada, kisi ko kam. But we have all kuch na kuch to experience kiya hi hai. And recently, actually, just a couple of days ago, one of my cousin in India passed away, and uh, one of the other family member was also had a corona. But then they were corona was cured, but now they diagnosed with something really bad so we are dealing with all these things right now that's why my schedule is all over the place and uh, i know that i haven't even replied to your comments on my last video so hang in there guys i'm trying my best i'm not gonna take too much time because uh, i need to go and make a lunch and today what i'm making it's something that which i have never shared that recipe before um, so I'm making that masala pao. It's something unique. You can definitely make this for um, appetizer. Let's say if you are hosting a party, it's a perfect for appetizer. Um, so I'm gonna share that recipe. But before we start uh, with that, uh, let me share the the nail kit uh, because I know that in my last video I got so many comments about that one, like where I bought it and if I can share how I. Uh, do the nails because uh, if you follow me for some time you guys know that i always get the sns now before all this corona you know i used to go regularly to the salon and get the sns done but because of this uh the technician who used to do my nails she doesn't work there anymore so then uh, i try a couple of different salon but then the result i wasn't happy with it because within a couple of weeks it's uh, gone um, and usually when I get the SNS, it lasts me at least a month. So then it wasn't worth for me to spend that much money every couple of weeks. So I thought, let me try it and see how that works. So in my last video, how I shared that as soon as it came, I tried. Of course, I didn't do the good job because, you know, I was so excited about it. And as soon as it came, I tried. Uh, so I didn't have the proper tools and all that. But uh, I'm not still going to take this off and start new because I still want to see how long this is going to last. Uh, then next time when I do it, definitely I'm going to be, be careful and I'll do the proper job. So I'll share the video when I do the next time, how I do it. But the process is very easy and I definitely I would say it's a highly, um, you know, it's better than going to the salon and do it at home. Yes, it takes some time, but uh, it's still worth it. Um, so when I do the next time, I'll share with you guys. And also, I need to share this bangle with you guys. So that's my Christmas gift. Now, this is the slider bangle, and I love the sound that it makes. It is from Valerina Mani. Now, this bangle comes in silver gold as well as the rose gold. I chose the silver one because my ring is mix of white gold and gold. You can customize this however you like it. So you can have all initial, birthstone, date, however you want it. And she's really good with this. So you can DM her and she'll work with you. Um, she's also offering 20% site-wide to you guys also. So I'm going to have all her information down below in the description box. I would highly recommend this, guys, because it's a well-made piece. And, you know, if you are looking for that unique gift, to give someone this is perfect for that so as i mentioned i'm gonna have all her information down below in the description box so now let's go in the kitchen i'll show you my nail kit because it's very straightforward actually um, you just need to be careful um, 
with the application when you do it but of course all that you know i'll share with you next time when i do the proper video about that and actually i need to hurry up and start lunch because kids are so hungry so let's go in the kitchen i'll show the nail kit and then we'll start with the recipe okay so this is the nail kit that i got it now it comes with the base activator top coat and this is the brush cleaner it comes with the six different nail colors yes the containers are small uh, but it's gonna last you a very long time because it's a powder you just need a little bit now the process is very straightforward you first need to apply the base then you dip it in here then again you do the base then apply this you do that three times and then you do the activator um, after that you need to buff it and i think that is the most critical thing because i didn't have the proper tool for that um, so that's why as you can see over here it's kind of thick on this side it's a thick so you need to buff it really well especially at the cuticle so as i mentioned i don't want to take this off right now i do want to see how long it's gonna last and then next time when i do it i'll do the proper job now this four i did it by myself now this one is from salon so last time when i got it it's still you know it's still fine so i didn't want to take it off i want to compare this to the one i did it so obviously i need to do proper job but so far it's okay you know i mean shine wise and everything it's good enough um so as i mentioned next time when i do this i'll definitely share the process with you guys but meanwhile i'm gonna link it down below in the description box i mean so far i'm happy with it you know i like it so i just want to see how long it's gonna last to make this masala pao first of all we need some finely chopped onion as well as the bell pepper next i'm gonna add some grated garlic now if you are not big fan of garlic you can still add just a little bit because i think that is what it makes this dish really flavorful also adding some cilantro as well as red crushed pepper and the oregano instead of oregano if you want you can always add some parsley and for this we need two different kind of cheese now i'm using the pizza cheese as well as the mexican cheese because that's what i had on hand this mexican cheese is basically blend of uh, two or three different cheese it doesn't have any seasoning in it so you can use the pizza cheese as well as some processed cheese also adding some black pepper in there just go ahead and mix everything properly so now the stuffing is ready so it's that easy doesn't take that long at all now we're gonna prepare the flavor butter for this so here i have some melted butter this is the salted butter into that i'm adding some cilantro as well as some grated garlic uh, and as you saw i did not add any extra salt into the butter as well as the stuffing because cheese has a salt as well as the butter and the bread that we're gonna use that one also has the salt so we don't need to add any extra salt in here now here i'm using this kaiser roll now you do want to use the bread that is kind of a little bit hard so that way when you stuff it it's not gonna get mushy and just go ahead and cut it and i'm sorry i thought it was recording but somehow it did so you basically you know you just want to cut it on top you don't want to cut it through uh, because we want to make sure the the bottom is still intact and that's it just go ahead and stuff this uh, and you do want to stuff it really good so if the spoon is not doing the job you can use your hand and just make sure you stuff it really well and that's it we're gonna apply the butter that we made it on top of this and you do want to apply the butter really well um, and just keep it in the oven on 350 degree for about five minutes or so because basically we just need to make sure the cheese is melted and the top will get a little bit crispy and that's about it this is the perfect, as I say, perfect appetizer for the party because you can make it, serve it individually just like this. If not, uh, you can use the bigger bread. But this is, I think, perfect. It looks cute also and it doesn't take that long to make it. You know, you can uh, prepare all these things like the stuffing as well as the butter ahead of time. And when you are ready to make it, you can just put it in there uh, in the oven just for five minutes or so and you can serve this hot so definitely guys give this recipe a try and 
I just actually realized that this is the last video of this year. So I just want to take this uh, opportunity to thank you guys also because without you guys, I won't be here. So bas Bhagwan se ek hi prarthna hai ki hum sab ka next year bahut acha jaye. Bhagwan aapki hamesha raksha kare. So I'm going to see you guys in my next video and that will be the new video for the next year. So here our bread is ready again guys. Thank you so much for everything, all your support, all your loves and uh, I will see you soon in my next video till then take care try this recipe tag me on instagram follow me on facebook too all the links are down below in the description box thank you so much guys take care i will see you soon in my next video bye